Hello. Hello. Happy spring. Happy spring. I'm Kate Butch. And I'm Caitlin Powell. And this is Queers Gone By, the podcast where we watch nostalgic film and TV, we eat some nostalgic snacks, and we try to work out if that's what made us queer. Oh, you, you switched it up this time. Did I? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh thank you. <laughs> I, I got a bit confused. Because, yeah, if, you, if you're a regular listener to this podcast, um, yeah. you'll know that Caitlin and I have different opening styles. Yeah. Um, for some reason, we record a new opening every time. Yeah. We it takes us keep five ourselves seconds. on the t- on yeah. ourselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, today, today, today. I'm giddy. To- I'm very excited about this one. <laughs> um, um, uh, today I didn't think is- I'd be so excited. Um, it's the first um, episode. We googled it. It's the first. The first day of spring was the twentieth of March. Mm-hmm. This is the first episode after that, mm-hmm. um, if all goes to plan. Um, <laughs> so it's the fir- the first episode of spring. Yes. Um, so we're ringing the spring in. Yeah. And the changes. Um, oh, it's it's so cute. It's the it's cutest TV cute. show, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to, like, roast. Um, or, like, take the piss oh, out Oh, I have some notes. <laughs> okay. And um, before we got onto it, um, we mentioned it a couple of weeks ago in yes. Storymakers. Mm-hmm. Um, but I finally found my Bilberry Jam. Yes! Um, it's homemade by my mum's friend, Min. Oh, Min. Min, lovely Min. I mean, this won't be nostalgic for many people, but... No, but this kind of does tie into the... And I can't believe I'm, um... So I'm a bit of a country bumpkin. I've never had Bilberry Jam. Yeah, I also didn't have time to go to the shops. So um, <laughs> grab yourself a spoon. I'm so excited. Should we cheers it? Cheers. We're just gonna. We, we've literally just spooning this into our yeah. mouths. Cheers. Oh, I've gone for a lot more than you. <laughs> I didn't want to eat too much. I'm agree. We'll save something. There's some. There's some left for the end. Okay. okay cheers. Okay, cheers. Oh wow! Isn't it magical? It tastes like Christmas. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, it tastes like autumn to me, which is like when Bilberries mm. come out. But it's, oh my god. If you could describe it, for people who've never had Bilberries. It's like in between a blueberry and a blackberry. Which I think is how I described it. Yeah. But it's, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and if you, haven't, if you haven't heard me go on about Bilberries before, <laughs> um, the way that we pick them up in Derbyshire <laughs> is um, we go out on moors, on the Wiley Where Windy the Moors. Where the murders happened. That's the Yorkshire Moors. Oh. There's moors everywhere, really. But I think there's also horrible men who murder people everywhere, so... I mean, there's always space to murder someone <laughs> on the moor. Um, and you run through the, the bushes. Nice spacious murder moor. <laughs> you, we've got a little plastic scoop. Uh-huh. And you run through the bushes and just, like, scoop it up, because they're too small to just pick oh, individually. Okay. Yeah. So you scoop them all out, and then you go home, put them all in a big bowl, and pull out all the little oh, leaves and make it into jam. Lovely. It's this... Like, it's oh. really cute. I, me and my mum used to go and, like, pick yeah. foraging things. You know what else is really cute? Brambly Hedge! <laughs> <laughs> Probably just such a because we, we were like basic the way that we did this we phoned it in a bit with this one <laughs> we were like we've got some time to record another one um, we've, <laughs> um, we don't we don't have any time to go to the shops but yeah. I've got some Bilberry jam yes. in my house mm-hmm. what can we link with Bilberry jam <laughs> and then it all came together with spring it did um, cute little mice yeah I gotta say I am so broody but for baby mice only. <laughs> I was about to say horny for babies. That's something no, different. No, different. <laughs> something different. <laughs> I'm really broody for little baby mice right now. Have you had you seen Brambley Hedge before? Because I'm sure we've talked about it. I think I must have done, but I don't really. It, we, uh, we had all of these on video, and they have um, spring story, summer story, mm-hmm. autumn story, winter story. I think I might have seen winter story. Winter story, I think, is the one that I remembered the yeah. most. Mm-hmm. But obviously, we can't watch it. We might watch it. if this goes well. We'll. <laughs> We could watch I don't know that this year. is going to be our most popular one. <laughs> this is niche. Yeah. <laughs> I had this on VHS. Um, and it was, um, it was a lovely time. If you haven't seen it, basically. Um, oh, it's, God, it's, it's so it's fucking stop cute. stop motion animation. Um, oh. We'll put pictures Wait, all over the social media. stop motion? Oh, yeah. How do they do the little noses? I don't know. Oh, my God. Um, they have and little they'll... wiggly noses. <laughs> They're little mice. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Honestly, we both shed a bit of a tear in this. <laughs> um, they're dressed in people clothes. Oh, they're like a Sylvanian family. They're like Sylvanian, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and they live in trees yes. and stumps and things, mm-hmm. and they have little houses. Oh. <laughs> it's literally, it's too cute. Oh. Um, so of course we watch Spring Story. Yes. Um, and it, it begins with little Wilfred Toad Flax. Oh, Toad Flax. Yes. Okay. Um, who's a little... They're all mice. I'm, I'm not going to say they're all mice every time. They're all mice. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, this story is convoluted. Yes. Also, there was a big bit that I thought happened that did not happen. Oh. 
Um, yeah, because because you on point were like, oh, I know what happens, as if the plot was gonna be like suspenseful. There was there was some drama in what I remember happening. Right. But if I've forgotten, it was maybe a different season, or maybe it was a different program altogether. I have no idea. Did Jim Broadbent do something? <laughs> Probably. Oh, it could be borrower related. Oh. I'll get onto it when we get right. to the bit. Okay. Um, this also did remind me a little bit. Do you remember um, Little Grey Rabbit? No. She's a little grey rabbit who also wears people clothes. Oh. And they, she does little adventures. Oh. Um, so it's Wilfred's birthday. Yes. And he's, he's not afraid to tell you. No. <laughs> he goes on about it. I thought I was going to be annoyed by Wilfred. I was. <laughs> Honestly, in this house, we stand Blossom. Blossom is a queen. Uh, okay. Do you mean Primrose? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Her name's Blossom, in it. No, that's the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, okay. We, stand... we don't stand her that much to remember a fucking name. But... <laughs> that Primrose? Primrose is a little queen. She but is. we'll get to but her. We'll get to her. Um, um, yeah, the, I, I should say the level of like disdain I have for any of this is like a drop in the ocean yeah, of the yeah. disdain I've had for shows such as Glee. Um, My parents are aliens. Carly, <laughs> yeah. Most things we've watched. Yeah. This was just a lovely little wholesome nostalgia. Oh, yes. This might be a positive episode because most of the time we just rip the shit out of everything. Yeah. It's just so lo- Honestly, get yourself a jar of jam and a spoon. And, get, get, and it's on watch, YouTube. They're all on YouTube. Just watch it. Just sit in bed with some jam. It's so... And watch like- mice. <laughs> do shit for half an hour this oh it's his birthday and he wakes up his parents he's mm-hmm. like it's my birthday um yeah. his dad's a lazy bit of a prick yeah um he's sleeps through the whole thing mm-hmm. um he's got a, i think he's got a brother called teasel teasel which is such a cute mm. i love teasel um and he's got some other sisters yes um i feel like mice generally give birth thousands of times yeah so i'm not sure why he doesn't have if you're broody for baby mice <laughs> <laughs> get on down to brambley hedge bring a net <laughs> <laughs> clear a space because <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of them <laughs> um and he says um the mum's like what do you want for your birthday breakfast <sighs> Wilfred wants pancakes he does not tough country pancakes no soft, soft fluffy cloud countryside pan- pancakes <laughs> countryside pancakes yeah which is my a soft, fluffy countryside pancake is what I aspire to be. Yes. <laughs> um. I. I. This hit a, struck a chord for me. Hit a nerve. You love a country pancake. Well, pancake. This kind of reminded me of my grandma, my mum's mum. Mm-hmm. You know how everyone has like a nice grandma and a not nice grandma. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my nice grandma. Although the last time I saw her, she said some nice things about Margaret Thatcher, and I was like, no, Judith. <laughs> <laughs> and my mum was like, don't worry, she's losing her mind. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Um, she would always make us pancakes whenever we stayed with her. Oh. Um, and they were always like, you know when you p- pancakes, when, when food made by anyone else is nicer than food you made by yourself. Yeah. So every pancake I've made since is just not... Not as good. N- not measured up to Judith's. My nan would just tell me I was getting fat when I stayed around hers. Oh my God. Yeah, that was my nasty grandma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, my other nan, she was... Do you not have a nice nan? I have a nice nan and she was amazing and she... <laughs> She's vegetarian. And I'm, we, we love to see it. Yeah, and I I wasn't vegetarian, but perfectly happy to be vegetarian when yeah. I was a kid. But she used to buy, like, sausages and stuff and be like, do you like these? And I'd be oh. like, oh. She was such a sweetie. And, oh, she's lovely. See, my nice grandma's kind of the opposite. Because uh-huh. I have always, pretty much always been a vegetarian slash vegan. Yeah. And she is not. Mm-hmm. Um, so <laughs> whenever we used to visit, she'd yeah. kind of work herself into a panic attack. Oh. <laughs> So like, can they have coleslaw? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think uh, I think my nan is happy now. I'm veggie. <laughs> she's like, okay, I know what I'm dealing with here. <laughs> she's so lovely. Oh, and yeah, just uh, they're having pancakes for breakfast, mm. and it just oh, yeah. it, and it felt nice. His presents, and he gets oh, a drum, a little drum, and a pea shooter. Yes, and a little whistle. knife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, it, looks like it did look like a knife, yeah. and then they're like, it's a whistle, and we were like. Really? Mm, okay. Okay. But it's a whistle. Okay. <laughs> sure, Jan. <laughs> I wrote down, why are these mice so polite? <laughs> They're all so polite. <laughs> they have lovely manners. Mm-hmm. Mice manners. Mice manners. <laughs> and they... Wish everyone had mouse man- ma- oh, mice manners. Uh, mice manners. Mice manners. No cheeses for us, mices. <laughs> um, Is that... 
Muppets, Muppets Christmas Carol. Yep, okay, so, yeah. um, um, and they we, we go to the Crabapple uh, Cottage. Crab Apple Cottage yes. or Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Apple. Yes, who have human hands. They've all got kind they've got mouse hands, yeah, which but are just quite pink. Theirs looked quite human. <laughs> Had opposable have thumbs. Seen, have you seen The Tailor of Gloucester? We've definitely yes, discussed I this. have. With the ballet. Uh, I can't remember. And it's got Thora Heard in it. Who's that? Who's Thora Heard? Okay, listeners. Just let me know if you know who the hell Thora Heard is. Okay, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's kind of like a ballet style. They do. Well, they kind of have Oh, Thora accent. Heard isn't a person. No, 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 no. She is. Okay. She's Dame Thora Heard. This is a homophobic <laughs> attack on me, personally. Um... <laughs> No, um, so they have the mice do ballet. Yeah. Um, and they've got human hands. Okay. Like, you know the Be- Beatrix Potter kind of ballet? Have yeah. Have you seen the Beatrix Potter ballet? Mm-hmm. It's available on YouTube. It's horrifying. There's a winking owl. Wait, what? Are you having a stroke again? No, I'm just... It's an outpouring of memories. <laughs> okay. Which is this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, Who's Thora Heard? <laughs> I can't explain to you who Thora... She's an actress. A ballet dancer? No, she was an actress. Okay. Who um, was she she's in? dead now. She was in um, Dinner Ladies. Okay. I think she might have been in like Corrie or something. Uh. But um, she's got a really distinctive voice. You'd know it. Okay. Um, I'll show you Thora Heard later. Okay. Um, oh, she's in Last of the Summer Wine or something. Oh, uh, okay. I think. Right. Um, but she's an icon. So not a successful actress. She's a dame. Well, okay. she was a dame. She's okay. dead now. Don't speak ill of her. And the Taylor of Gloucester. Mm-hmm. Is the mice do ballet but uh-huh. they're obviously people playing mice they've not done a horrible cats film <laughs> and cgi'd them they've just right. got mouse costumes on and okay. like head, oh god mice heads okay and, things. Right. and they've got little hands Ooh. human hands mm-hmm. that's basically like so i'm just i'm a mouse human hand <laughs> apologist is what i'm saying <laughs> that's horrible and i don't think you should be so mean about the apples especially one of whom is played by the late great june whitfield <laughs> she is <laughs> bloody love june whitfield um and Mr. Apple yeah, he's takes like, Wilfred to his little stump store. To have a little birthday treat. And I was like, there were moments in this when I was like, I can't make a horrible double entendre about child abuse in this podcast. Oh my God. <laughs> There's a later bit where someone offers him a, a whistle lesson. Um, oh, fuck's sake. And now I've brought it up. <laughs> Jesus. I will say that Mr. Apple is like, what, what, what treat would you want? And he chooses, and he chooses sugared violets because mm. he's a precocious child. Did I say about when I used to work at Caravan? It, I think that's only London. It's a London restaurant that's really... Um, Hipstery. Yeah. And uh, on my final shift, a 10-year-old child asked me for a kombucha and I was like, I'm out! <laughs> I'm leaving! <laughs> Fuck this shit! I used to like, like a violet cream or a rose cream. We used yeah. to get those on our birthdays. Um, I liked palm violets. Palm violets a good time. Mm-hmm. Although um, someone bought me palm violet gin for Christmas and it was not pleasant. Oh, I've had some of that. Do you want it? Do you, do you not like it? Because I've got like literally a whole bottle, minus one glass. Um, yes. <laughs> cool. Um, <laughs> transaction approved. Um, uh, and then, yeah, he gets sugared violet. I, I would like a sugared violet. They'd be I quite crispy, would wouldn't now. They? I'm just surprised that a little kid likes it. They're probably homemade. Yes. Also, he is a mouse. <laughs> yes, and they're probably quite big if it's yeah. like a little violet Oh head. my God, yes. Little oh. paws around it. Little creepy human hands. Oh, he's so cute. Ah! <laughs> And they... I did a lot of screaming in this. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go to the Oak Palace. Oh, yeah, where his friend Oak Prim- Hall, Oak Manor. Manor. Yes. Where Primrose lives. Primrose, who's the daughter of Lord and Lady something. Mm. Sweetmeats. No. Mm? <laughs> Doesn't that mean penis? No, sweetmeats. Yeah, but isn't it a double entendre? I think, well, sweetmeats are a thing, though, aren't they? Yeah, like... but they're genitals. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I, am I going mental? Uh, probably. But I mean, anything's a double entendre, isn't it? No, no, but I'm pretty sure if you get if you see sweet meats on them... I'm thinking of sweet bread? Sweet, sweet bread is meat. No. Yeah. And it's it's like the, the dodgy bits that you don't want... Sweet norm- breads. That you don't want But sweet eat. meats are sweets. Okay, right. What's sweet bread? Oh, pancreas. Oh, okay. Or... The, oh, it's a colouring name for the thymus, also called throat, gullet, or neck. <gasps> or pancreas. Oh, so it's your neck, your gullet. Oh, my dad fully told me it was like testicles. Man. That gonads. Sure. I'm trying to think of what you... I mean, 
anything's a euphemism for anything. Yeah, sure. You can be like, oh, sweet meats. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, Lord and Lady, whatever the face is. Yes. And their daughter Primrose. Mm-hmm. And I'm a bit like, do these mice need aristocracy? Kill them. <laughs> Eat the rich. <laughs> <laughs> Little mouse guillotine. <laughs> Let them eat sweet meats. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh, <good> hell. <laughs> um, She's very much the um, Marie Antoinette of this show. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mrs. Krusty Bread. Mrs. Krusty Bread, yeah. That's her name. She's Krusty the cook. For them. Oh, I thought she was. Is it not Primrose Krusty Bread? No, it's Lord and Lady Someone and their slave, Mrs. Krusty Bread. <laughs> 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 paid <laughs> do they have any concept of money <clears throat> well clearly one owns a shop oh lord and lady woodmouse so nothing to do with bread <laughs> they talk about sweet meats at some oh. point and mrs crusty bread, is, bread is there is the housekeeper or something mm-hmm. yes. um and they're having porridge yes and a little berry falls in the plops in the porridge yes. um and it's wilfred and his little pea shooter yes which is cute Oh, I love it. Um, and then he's like, Primrose, come and have a birthday adventure with me. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's, just, it's so sweet. Birthday adventure. If you want, like, you know, like a sensory deprivation tank. <laughs> like you were saying before, get in bed. Yeah. Get a jar of jam. <laughs> just spoon it into your open mouth. And you'll be in like, <laughs> you're like in a little, like a little bubble of niceness. Yeah. Like oh. everything awful that's happening in the world. Mm-hmm. I know we should always be aware of it. Sometimes. But sometimes it's nice to switch off for 25 minutes to watch Bramley Hedge. Onto your face. <laughs> mouth agape. Jam face. Rat jam. Rat jam. Torchwood. <laughs> Is this mouse jam? Mouse jam. <laughs> um, oh my God. Um, and then um, Wilfred's like, I'm going to go and hide. Yeah. Um, and no one comes to find me. <laughs> yeah, but what happened there? I didn't really get what was happening. I, then I kind of thought, oh, it's the whole plot that he gets lost. But right. I think that might be maybe autumn story or winter okay. story. Right. Um, there is a plot where they get lost and they okay. can't find their way back. I think that might be winter because I feel like I remember that. I remember winter being really dramatic. Yes. M- I mean, the pathetic like fallacy of winter. Is like a snowstorm or something? Yes. Yeah. Big old blizzard. Yes. And then we meet the personification of wholesome, Jim Broadbent. Jim Broadbent as a mouse called Basil. Basil! Oh, oh it's a cat called Basil. Oh. Little kitten. Oh. But we're not talking about cats right now. We're talking about mice. Mice. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and um, he teaches yeah. Wilfred how to... <laughs> With the sickest burn ever. <laughs> Wilfred's like, do you like my tune? And he's like, well, I would if you could play it properly. <laughs> oh! oh! Jiminy Broadbent! <laughs> you! <Slap! laughs> and then he's like, I'm going to give you a whistle lesson. And I was like, don't say anything. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you didn't. I and he teaches him how to play two notes. Three. Um, Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> a collection of notes. Yes. Well, I mean, Jim Broadbent demonstrates and plays a beautiful tune, mm. which I can't remember off the top of my head now. No. Um, the music, by the way, oh. is gorgeous mm-hmm. in this whole this whole thing. It's lovely. Again, it's just so wholesome. Yeah. <laughs> just, um, and then he teaches Wilfred to play two notes, yes. and I was reminded of my early lessons in playing the fife. Oh, not the flute. Well, I, went, I played the fife, and then I, went, I graduated to the flute. What the fuck is a fife? A fife is like a baby between a recorder and a flute. Aww. It's like a tube of plastic with holes in it. Nice. And you blow across it. Cool. And then the flute is made of metal, and it's got little keys. Okay. And presses and things. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember, um, I, I remember my very first flute lesson, uh-huh. or fife lesson, as it was. Um, did you ever do music at school? Yeah. Did you, yeah, did you have, like, lessons? Bish... I'm grade eight violin and viola. Are you? Yes. Grade I've eight. Said this, I've said this on the podcast before. I thought you were like grade three. No. You're grade eight. I'm very good. <laughs> Why are we not doing the band? <laughs> I was thinking this, drag orchestra. Oh, that's cute. I know that I thought you thought, but like, um... Does she do drag orchestra? Well, she doesn't live in London, does she? So. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. If I were over. Yeah. She can, she can conduct. Yes. Um, I play the flute, you play the violin and viola. Uh-huh. Um, Mark Anthony, the drag king, plays the cello. Lovely. That's all. If you're a drag performer <laughs> and know. you play a musical instrument, let us know. If mm-hmm. you play a musical instrument but you like to dabble in drag, Ooh. we can get someone in drag. Yeah. It's probably easier to teach a musician drag than it is to teach a drag musicians. Yeah, 100%. You know what I mean. <laughs> um, did you... My music lessons in school were in, like, the, the reaper graphics room. 
What's that? Printing Where they kept room. the photocopier. <laughs> Um, and occasionally honestly, I'd be there like doing technique and <laughs> so I'd be like, I need to print out some lesson plans. <laughs> Mum would be in just a, a very small room with one of those um, weird spongy things on the wall to, to stop the sound. Oh, I see. Like you're yeah. in a recording studio. <laughs> sure. No, it was just like a tiny room with one of those on the oh, wall. I see. And that was... <laughs> um, yeah, in, in secondary school, I did go into the music department in a tiny room uh-huh. with a metronome. Ooh. And a little like piano that was maybe a foot long, <laughs> <laughs> but in primary school, uh-huh. Reaper Graphics. Yeah, and I remembered learning to blow. <sighs> mm. <laughs> Le- um, it's you have to. I remember really distinctly. I don't know why. You have to imagine like you're blowing a little grain of rice off your bottom lip. Oh, so it's all like. Can you feel it? Yeah. This is. I can't believe I didn't know that about you. That's magical. I've definitely mentioned it. <laughs> You've mentioned that you played it. I'm sure you said you like did three grades and fucked off. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm very good. I'm obsessed with this information. <laughs> why, why have you never like, made it a thing? I told you. Oh, because I, I haven't touched a violin or viola since like college. I haven't touched flute for yeah. years. Yeah. In every sense, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so alone. Um, <laughs> Clutch the strings oh. all the way to G. Went from major, major to minor, C to, C to D. D. That song's about abuse. Um, right? And, yeah, it's I mean, so jazzy for what it musical, is. Six the musical, by the way. Yes. All you want to do. Mm-hmm. And I, I was listening to it. And I was like, "This is one of my least favorite songs." And then I saw the musical, and I was like, "She is incredible." Really? Yeah. Zara McIntosh, I think I saw. Okay. She's phenomenal. Mm. Let's okay. go see six. Yes. Um, and then while well, he's playing the flute. A whistle. Um, they do a little, um, little surprise picnic for him. They start they planning. They have a little meeting. Oh yes, we need to little do something. huddle and they're whispering and their little noses. Their little noses when they twitch. And they, 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 ah! it's, Sorry, it's fine. Oh, that's so fucking cute. You need to watch this. Yes. If you're listening to this, you need to watch. Oh. It's on YouTube. Yeah. It's accessible. Oh, no, if you have just... internet. Um, yeah. And you can see the little noses in action because mm-hmm. I don't think we can describe little... adequately how so... cute it is. It's just so such little movements. It's not like the, it's not like a muppet. It's not like it's going up and down. Yeah, it's just it's little just twitches, subtle. little twitches. Oh. Um, um, and and they, they gather all their picnic campers together. This is what I didn't get in that first scene. There's there's so many picnic campers, and yet the plot revolves around one picnic camper. Yes. Yeah. I do. I, yeah. It's a it's an interesting plot. Mm-hmm. Because the Wilfred's it's a family, bad the plot. Toad Flaxes, <laughs> yes, um, their picnic hamper doesn't work. Yeah, or it's like sealed shut and it's yeah full of like pots and pans and shit. <clears throat> mm-hmm. um, and they get they they're trying to fix it. Yeah, but the dad, who is famously quite lazy, mm-hmm. as we've seen, yes, um, was like, no, not much sure. And in like, fact, he doesn't get out of bed for his son's birthday. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, he does eventually. Mm. He just sleeps through it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and. He's, they're, they're sorting out all this. Mm-hmm. Um, scones and things. Yes. Scone or scone? Scone. Okay. The two genders. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're scone, I'm scone. I think with a lot of words I'm interchangeable, but I think I'd say scone. Fluid. <laughs> yeah, verse. <laughs> She's scone verse. <laughs> I'm full of sultanas. <laughs> and I'll fuck anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Me. Right. <laughs> so then Wilfred, the Kate Butch story. <laughs> Wilfred potters along and they're like, oh no, Wilfred is coming because he's playing his little flute and they can hear it getting nearer. Yeah. So they, they hide the baskets by putting them behind their backs. <laughs> but there's the main hamper which isn't hidden. So Primrose fucking throws herself over the pamper, just like lounging across it like, oh hey Wilfred, how's it going? <laughs> no hampers here. <laughs> um, and then... Cute. He's like, what's that hamper? Yeah, it's <laughs> and like, she's like, oh, God damn. It's for Old Vol. Mm-hmm. And they kept Did saying Old Vol. Old Vol. No, oh. but it gave me another image in my head oh, of Old Bear. I don't remember Old Bear. Please read us the story, Old Bear. This is kind of similar for me. I mean, we had it on video, but I never saw it on TV. Okay. I've, I, I don't, was it ever on TV? Okay. Did it just exist in my household <laughs> <laughs> on VHS? <laughs> this is just a figment of your imagination. This is just a fever dream. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and um, he's, she's like, oh, it's Old Vols. We need to take it to 
Somewhere bank. Bluebell bank. Bluebell bank. Yes. Oh, bluebells. I love bluebells. Love bluebells. And I know they're a weed, but <laughs> they're cute weed. They are... Same. <laughs> <laughs> weed. <laughs> Bill and Ben. The flower pot men. I watched Bill and Ben a lot. We should watch... We should do a Bill and Ben. Mm-hmm. Put that on the list. Yeah, we'll do. We will. Um, <laughs> um, and so they're like, will you help me take it to Old Vol at Bilbury yeah. Bank? Bilbury Bank? Bluebell Bank. So this is my problem with Wilfred. He's immediately like, oh, do, 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 shouldn't be doing this on my birthday. It's like, yeah, but you said earlier you had no plans for your birthday. It's going to be a chill one. <laughs> chill one with the boys. Have I told you about the birthday that I spent in a stranger's house? No, you mentioned this. And I need to, I need more information. I don't know if I have, Okay. We'll do the, the summarised version, because I feel like I definitely have done this on this podcast at some point. I really don't think you have. Okay, so I was working in a fringe venue, uh-huh. and the last day of the fringe um, was my birthday. Yes. Um, and uh, I, we had to like, move stuff to the artistic director's parents' house, which is just up the road. Uh-huh. Um, but it was a lot of stuff, and it was quite heavy, so we had a little van yeah. going up and down. And they took... I went up with the first load to the mm-hmm. house, and they were like, right, you stay here, um, and... Um, mind the equipment and yes. things and we'll come back and then we'll uh-huh. swap around and stuff yeah and about two hours later <gasps> i was sitting in this house yeah. by myself all i had in my pockets were um a key uh-huh. uh some blue tack and an elastic band oh my god and i'm no macgyver <laughs> <laughs> um or colombo or whoever the one that yeah 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 but I can't entertain myself for two hours with just those three things. No. Um, I was too scared to like turn the TV on because it was a stranger's house. Yeah. So I just sat on the stairs, face at the door, like please come for back to two soon. hours. For two hours, um, and then my friend came with the van, uh-huh. and I think my sister was there as well. Yeah. And they were all like, "Okay, cool. Here's some more stuff." I helped them load it all in. Yeah. And they're like, "Okay, you wait here now. Um, we'll come back with the next stuff." And I was like, "Oh, am I not swapping?" And they're like, "Oh no, I think it's best." That you stay here. Why did you take them two hours? I don't fucking know. Was not the first thing you said when they got back. Where the hell have you guys been? No, I was kind of just thrilled to see another okay, human being. Right. <laughs> um, and then when you're left alone with just a key, an elastic yeah. band and some blue tack, uh-huh. um, your mind does tend to wander. Uh-huh. And so I was like, okay, there's a reason that I'm not being allowed down there uh-huh. on my birthday. <gasps> I was like, and my, even my sister has been like, okay, you stay here. I'm like, okay, so there must be a reason that, like, I'm not allowed to go down to the venue. Oh, no. Um, and then another two hours passes. They come back. Uh-huh. And that's all the rest of the stuff. And cool. Well, great. We go down to the venue. Yeah. Empty. Oh, my God. A husk. Oh, my God. And not even, like, surprise, happy birthday. Obviously, my sister knew it was my birthday. And she said happy birthday to me. Oh, no. But nothing else. In the empty room or earlier? <laughs> <laughs> and they were all like, cool, great. Thanks, everyone, for your help. Bye. Oh, my God. Like, I've been in a room. Also, no need to be in there yeah. for four hours. That's so weird. Yeah. Maybe they hated you. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. <laughs> they had me back for, like, seven years. Um, oh, is that, well, how old were you? Was it my 18th birthday? Oh, my God. I think it was my 18th oh birthday. Oh, my God. Did you have a nice day apart from that? I painted a pot in the morning. That's good. A bit twee. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I have since returned to that venue um, with my shows. Mm. Um, best selling show at that venue of all time ever. Mm. Best show of the Buxton Fringe at all time. All right, simmer down. Ever. Yep. Award We're one. talking about mice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, basically, he's like, why have I got to do this on my birthday? And I was like, yeah. same. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they're carrying this thing a little... Trolley, mm-hmm. this hamper. Yeah. And it's like herbal remedies. Leaves. Leaves and shit. Yeah. Um, side note, have you seen that Vicky Vox, <laughs> the drag queen, was like, use essential oils to battle the coronavirus. And everyone was like, no. And she was like, well, okay. <laughs> Whoa. She's like, why am I being attacked? Yeah. Because <laughs> you are spreading falsehoods. Mm-hmm. Um, um, oh, and... Um, uh, Wilfred's like, I'll push this. <laughs> and Primrose is like, why will you push this? Um, and he's like, I'm stronger than you. And she's like, uh, excuse me, lady. She's like, I can't believe you said that. Feminist icon, Primrose. Not that you would know. <laughs> Christ. 
And there's more drama going on with this bloody broken hamper with Wilfred's family mm-hmm. as they're wheeling it up to Bluebell Bank. Yes. And the mum's like, okay, it's broken. We'll squeeze our scones into someone else's hamper. We've all been there. Oi, oi. <laughs> Who amongst us? Um, and she's like, okay, just take the hamper back upstairs. Yeah. And he's like, oh... Can't really be asked because I'm fucking lazy. Yeah. Um, and he just hides it in the reeds next to their oh, house. Oh, we're forgetting the fact that fucking Jim Broadbent steals the hamper. Oh, and then we cut back to this. Oh, is that how? Okay. They're okay. wheeling it and they're like, oh, quick rest. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to see some notes that I'm playing on my, <laughs> my, my flute? Um, and then they look away and yeah. Jim Broadbent's like, oh. What's this doing here? This, this is the Toad Flax's hamper. It's in the middle of the road. Let's take it back to their house. Yes. And he does. And I was like, no. No. <laughs> You've got the wrong man. Um, <laughs> it's a very, it's like a, it's a classic comedy mm-hmm. of errors. Yeah. <laughs> Mistaken boxes. <laughs> Mice in bonnets. Mm-hmm. Bonnets. The bonnets are back. Mm. Not just for felt penguins anymore. <laughs> for Stop clay motion mice. mice. <laughs> clay mice. <laughs> clay mice in a bonnet. <laughs> Um, and then they come back from their little reed and like as they're walking towards where the hamper was, Jim Broadbent is disappearing. By the way, I mean Jim Broadbent Mouse. Basil Not- the Mouse, yes. Basil the Mouse Basil? is um, disappearing off off stage. And <laughs> and they're like, where could it possibly have gone? And I'm like, look to your left. <laughs> That's where it is. <laughs> and then they just like, they're like kind of despairing. Yeah. They're like, oh no, better just stand here and play my recorder. <laughs> The two notes I know. <laughs> and it's like, I'm just going to stand here and play my flute. <laughs> <laughs> Me whenever anything bad happens. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, I like these notes. Do you know any more? <laughs> oh my God. She's amazing. And Basil's like, oh, there's a picnic going on he learns mm. elsewhere yeah better go and get some of my rose petal wine and they're like we don't really need this like i must get the wine <laughs> <laughs> alcoholic mouse basil <laughs> but rose petal wine sounds really nice mm. um, there was also rose hip wine oh mm. i like a little foragey thing yeah um i used to have i once had nettle soup with my fr- my nan is a witch and makes nettle soup oh is this the nice nan yes that's good she's great she collects nettles nettle soup is really nice mm. Um, I had it once with my friends who live in the Lake District. Have you just glossed over the fact that my nan's a witch? <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> she's is she like great. an actual witch? Like, she's like herbal witch. Like, herbal like, essence. She can't do magic because that doesn't exist. But like, but she's like in the yeah. olden days, she would have been burned. Like yes, yes. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Believes Wickeny. in ley lines and shit. Okay. So she's an idiot. Um, oh <laughs> I went... Um, on a school trip to the Matlock Mining Museum. Ooh! I know. <laughs> Shout out to Matlock Mining Museum. <laughs> Matlock is... Imagine Scarborough. Uh, oh, God. But imagine it worse. Ah! <laughs> uh, they do have a nice little cable car called the Heights of Abraham. Um, but they have a mining museum. Uh-huh. And in the mining museum, I went on a school trip mm-hmm. and I bought some divining rods for 50p. Okay. And they're like little copper rods mm. that you walk around and they cross over when they're above water. Yeah. And it works. Wait, does that actually? Yeah. Why? I don't know if it's like ions or whatever. I mean, I'm sure there's some science explanation for it, but yeah. I was like, I should be a Wiccan. Yeah. <laughs> like any bisexual on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, anyway, nettle soup, great time. Yes. I think we should go foraging for some nettles. I mean, they'd have been pissed on by foxes if you get them in London. <laughs> yeah. But, we can watch but them honestly, blessed. <laughs> Love a fox. That's even more of like the country aesthetic. Yeah. <laughs> fox Pierce. Yeah. Fox Pierce. <laughs> That's my drag name. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, they, they're like, oh, hang about. There's some yeah. tracks, mm-hmm. Primrose and Wilfred. Like, there's tra- some tracks, the tracks where the cart was. It takes them a while to notice, but. I mean, I think Primrose is just getting fucking sick of the, yeah. <laughs> the two notes. <laughs> She like gouges some holes in the ground. It's like, oh look, tracks. <laughs> oh, we must leave. <laughs> leave the recorder here. <laughs> and they follow Let the me tracks just back. Break that in two. <laughs> <laughs> they follow the tracks back. Mm-hmm. Um, they're like, oh, there's two sets of tracks. And it's like, yeah, one's from when you brought it, one's from when it went. Mm-hmm. Can't believe they wrote that into the fucking script. But okay. it's like we've worked it out. Yeah. Even, when we were children, we probably would have worked this mm-hmm. out as well. Um, and they follow the tracks back to Wilfred's house, yes. where Basil took it, mm-hmm. um, and then put the hamper. 
in the rushes. Yeah. Again. But then he gets the wrong ham. They put a hamper in and it's got a telltale piece of blue gingham. Yeah. um, Which we knew. We as the audience. We were like, oh no, wrong hamper. Dramatic irony. Primrose, please, no. (laughs) You've got the wrong man. Um, (laughs) (laughs) they, They take the hamper yeah. to Bluebell Bayou no <laughs> um, b- b- Bur- bank bank <laughs> ballet <day. laughs> bank I watched The Weakest Link more than any of the things we've, re- we've reviewed so far. Do you remember they did like special editions? I remember the West End one. Maybe two. There was a Doctor Do Who one. with um, Phil out of, out of Dan and Phil fame? No. Oh, he was on it. Um, and there was one with puppets. Really? Yeah. Nice. I think Jelly and Jackson were on it. Oh. We should definitely review Weakest Link. Let's Lake. watch the puppets episode <laughs> yeah. of Weakest Link. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my doorbell just rang. Um, we're going to pause. Yeah. Hopefully it's a mice in a bonnet. <laughs> It was not a mouse in a bonnet. <laughs> it was, in fact, a Beyblade. Um, Want to give some context? Uh, if you saw my show, Wuthering Shites, you'll know. And if you didn't, you're dead to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> where were we? Mm. Um, they got the wrong man. They're going yeah. to Balag de Bay. Yeah. Weakest link. <laughs> <laughs> They're going uh, to Bluebell Bank. Yes. Um, <laughs> with the wrong... Man. Yes. You've got the wrong, wrong man. man. <laughs> I don't know where that's from. <laughs> I think it's a Flo and Jones song. Oh. Um, and um, everyone's waiting to surprise him. Yeah. And um, he's getting more and more pissed off. And to be honest, I haven't been that sympathetic to Wilfred, but he's right to be annoyed. Yes. When, Rose... someone, when some dickhead has wasted two hours of your life, mm-hmm. <laughs> he didn't even have a key. No. Or an elastic band. <laughs> and I don't think the mice had blue tan. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd be pissed off. I'm mm-hmm. like, Wilfred, good on you, mate. Yeah. Um... And then they're like, oh, no, hang about. Let's open up this hamper and see what's inside. Yeah. And they open it. And it's got pots and pans and shit. And it's full of pots and pans and shit. And they're like, fuck. Yes. Oh, fuck. And all the mice are, like, hiding in the bushes, like, fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and, like, he's just so, like, what is happening? Like, they keep saying things like, we've got the wrong hamper. And then random people keep coming into scene going, the wrong hamper. <laughs> it's, it's so bizarre. And, and then so weird. she's like... Wilfred, close your eyes and catch a tail, do some hide and seek. Yeah. Um, and then open your eyes. And then I think in maybe that 10 seconds. She runs over and is like, squeak, 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 <laughs> squeak, squeak. And someone else is like, squeak, squeak back to her. And then she comes back and she's just standing there when he opens his eyes. Yes. And also, maybe the dad runs home with oh, yeah. the hamper and runs back with the different hamper. Yeah. In that 10 seconds, mm-hmm. perhaps. Yep. It's a small hedge. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, He's like, now open the hamper. Yeah. And he opens the hamper and there's scones slash scones. Yeah. There's cake. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mrs. Apple's special spring pudding. Oi, oi. And, um... Tarts. Tarts. And more presents. Yes, yeah, more presents. And one of the presents from Mr. Krusty Bread. <laughs> it's, it's a teddy mouse. It's a teddy mouse. It's a teddy mouse. It's, it's a little teddy mouse. It's a teddy mouse. <laughs> ah! Again, we cannot... We cannot tell you how cute this fucking what show is. cute. It, it's oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> want to birth a mouse? <laughs> birth a mouse. She wasn't in it. <laughs> it's my drag name. <laughs> Wilfred. <laughs> Did you ever watch the TV show Bertha, which is about like a, a machine in a factory? Yeah. Bertha, lovely Bertha. <laughs> Whoa, uh, I don't remember that. I, I think but... Everyone definitely fucked the machine. Oh my god. Um, and then everyone's having a lovely time. They play around, they dance around, they sleep in the sunset. Yeah. And you see little sleeping Wilfred. And I'm going to put a picture of this yeah, on the Instagram so because it's so cute. cute. <laughs> uh. <laughs> his little fucking feet. Little Toby. Oh, and he's had such a lovely day. He's had such a great day. <laughs> but he thought it was going to be bad. And he had pancakes for Brian. <laughs> that was when I shed a tear. <laughs> now <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he's such a good boy <laughs> we don't get much male excellence on this podcast <laughs> no, but Wilfred Toadflax <laughs> I think has redeemed every man ever <laughs> oh my god oh my good boy actually 
crying, oh my god. <laughs> um, and then they, they go to sleep and everyone's fast asleep because they're so exhausted by having yeah. such a lovely day. <laughs> Don't um, you love that? Don't you love when you've had a really nice day? In like spring? <laughs> yeah, or summer. And then you go to bed. <laughs> It's been a lovely day. And you're just so zonked out by how lovely the day's been that you just fall asleep. I must say I'm having less and less of those, fewer and fewer of those yeah. as my life goes on. But as a child, I yeah. didn't have a phone. I didn't yeah. have to worry about tax. And I could take my shoes off and throw them in the lake, brackets. Um, <laughs> but I could run around in my garden. Yeah. Um, play rounders with like shoes as bases and shoes as bats yeah. and shoes as balls. Just throwing shoes at each other. Let's have a lovely day in the sun this spring. Let's do it. <laughs> and eat some That's Pillsbury a jam. <laughs> <laughs> ah, would you come to a Brambley Hedge meetup, guys? <laughs> Where we just sit in the sun. And eat jam. Yeah. <laughs> I want that. Yeah. I we want take our to... shoes off. <laughs> throw them in the lake. lake. <laughs> oh my god. I'm crying. Right. So. Has this ended on a weird time? That's tone? the end. Of, was it camp? <laughs> No, but it didn't need to be. No. Some things just don't need to be count. <laughs> Did it make us queer? Probably not. No. But it's probably been the best thing we've ever watched for this podcast. And what does that yeah. say about the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I wish we got the lottery those few episodes ago. Oh right. my God. Let's have some more jam. There's enough left in the jar. Thank you. <laughs> God. Right. Yep. <laughs> um, so, yeah, give us a follow on Instagram at yep. Quiz Gone By, <laughs> at Kate Butch One, at Caitlin Powell, at Caitlin R P L W L L. All is. of this is surplus to require. <laughs> yeah. All you need to do after this is go onto YouTube, <laughs> type in Brambley Hedge, and watch every single <laughs> story for every season because it is glorious and it is gorgeous and it is. It's so beautiful. It's so lovely. Right, we're going to cheers this right, jam. Cheers. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, it's such nice jam. Yeah.